I love when there's just a pure dumb luck moment in a build. This is the choke rod that comes stock on one of these Kohlers. And I figured out that one end will go right there. And given just a tiny bit of bending and a modification to the other end, it fits right there. So there is our throttle going right to where we already had it in the stock location. Now, we haven't done anything about the choke yet. As it is right now, I think what we're probably going to do, I've been working on making these intake adapters, and I'll have links for these posted down below. I have this original version and this original version for free for download. This is the modified reinforced version that I created for now. And I only marked it a buck in order to be able to download the files to print your own. Now, what I think I'm going to do is eventually I will make this slightly raised a little bit more and then print out a piece that can get screwed in on top here to make the pivot point for this. But that's later on. In this application, I can't clear the hood without a 90. So I have made this version. Whoops, come on. Get on. There we go. So I've made this version that 90s everything. Now this is just the first version of this. Come on off. This needs to be made so it sweeps much better and is more of a curve for airflow. But this is going to get us started. And like I said, I will make this version available for free. Once I get the curvature version in and I print some reinforcements into it, I'll post a version 2 that'll be like a buck. Once I get a version put in that has the printable pieces to screw in for the choke tie down, I'll probably make those a couple of bucks. But I did all the work. You get to pay two bucks and print as many as you want. I think that's a fair trade. Anyways, we're here to work on these jets. So here's some information. We built a Duramax that turns like six grand plus. The Duramax ended up being happy on a 49 jet with a 024 idle jet. It still never really came down as low as I would like on the idle. So there's that. So I ordered up a 49 and a 029 for us to start with what worked on the Duramax. Now, this Kohler is a 597cc. So, with that being said, the Duramax started out as a 38 or a 39 and ended up happy at 49. So, there's that. So, therefore, I ordered up this alcohol kit because if it took 10 plus to make the Duramax happy from stock... I figure a 59 by 029 alcohol kit should be about right for the Kohler. But first, we're going to swap in this that worked on the Duramax to get a baseline. I apologize for the weird lighting, but it's the only way I can manage to get the stock versus the 49 to show up. Big shout out to nrracing.com. When I first did the Duramax build for the Sears Dragster... They didn't make a 49. Now they do. We should have the idle set about a thousand or so. We'll see if it'll hold there. And choke should be off at this point. Let's see if it'll start.
All right. As you can hear, it is leaning out insanely at the top end. Now, it did idle. It was actually really happy on the idle. So I think at this point, I think we take it up a notch. I think we put in the methanol kit and we see if Kohler's just like to run on meth. Kohler on meth level kit. Here we go. Okay, I think we're actually getting too much gas right now for the idle. So we're going to crank this up just a little. Meth level kit, take two. Still got a little too much gas for the idle, but we're curious whether we got our upper end. So we'll dial that up a little. Take three. Okay, let's assume we can get the idle dialed up enough. And let's just see how she'll respond in the upper 2000 plus. Okay, well, that pitch black smoke tells me that she is running way too rich. So, meth level kit was too much. It was idling a little bit better. How about we mix it a little? How about we take that idle jet out, we put in the 024 idle jet, and run it with the meth main jet and see what it does. 024 idle jet with meth head main jet. Here we go. Well, without question, it definitely likes the 024 idle jet, but that main jet's actually killing us. We're making less than we were before instead. Let's go the opposite direction. Let's see if she wants to run on the leaner side. I think I've got a 47. So let's stuff a 47 in and see if maybe that's what we're running into. This right here is exactly why it is I'm posting up some of these for free and some of them for a dollar. That is where I screwed up and I'm now editing this particular design that you guys are seeing used today. If you look in the video you'll see I've got a spacer right there in order to come up and around this. I'm now working on a newer improved design which I'll end up posting for, you guessed it, one dollar. There we are. Like I said previously, so this is the one that we had before. This will be up for free. This one here is the one where I redid in order to be able to have this, a reinforcement back here, a reinforcement in the front, 
and this will be listed for a dollar. This is just thrown up there so that people can try it and see how it works so that we can get some feedback. And then I'll do a more professional version of this later. But for now, let's finish out what we're doing. Not a sponsor, but I just want to say thank you to nrracing.com. The fact that you took time to mark every single baggie in the order is absolutely phenomenal. So we tried a 49. I really don't expect too much of a drop to a 47. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go with the 45. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Just in case anybody is unfamiliar with jets on these carbs, this is your idle jet and all you do is take a pair of cutters and put it like this and pry and it'll pop up and then you press in whatever you want for an idle jet. On the underside here, this is your main jet down in here and obviously you just unscrew it with a flathead screwdriver. Now there is a Venturi tube that is down inside of here. In this case, we are not changing that out. These carbs are capable of running the stock tube clear up through into methanol. So there is no need for us to ever touch that. All right, we'll get this thrown back on the machine. Here we go. 0 0.024 idle jet, 45 primary jet, set to idle. Let's see if we can get it started. I hate to say it, but judging from how that seems to just want to float at 42, I think we dropped a little too much. I'm going to take it apart one more time, put the 49 in. No, not the 49. My bad. 47. We're going to put the 47 in and see if that works out. Idle jet, 0 0.024. Main jet, 47. Take one. Well, I would say at this point, 47 seems pretty happy. I think it had a little bit more kick up with the 45. So where this is going to be used in the cold for now, I think I'm going to leave the 47 in it. But if I was setting this up in order to run in the summertime, I probably would put the 45 in. As it is now, I've got to get the gas pedal re-rigged up in order to change it over to the way it is now. And then maybe we'll get it out on the ice and play with it. 